We are going to assemble a powerful and compact welding machine from a regular microwave. There is a big transformer in the microwave and we are going to use it. It is so little, how can it weld? It's tiny and mighty. It has a special feature. Just compare, the microwave transformer can cope with 1200 watts and this old huge TV transformer can cope only with 270 watts. The TV one is much bigger but it doesn't help. The normal welding machine must have not less than 4000 watts power. And I will show you how to accumulate such power. I cut out the transformer's top, take out the high voltage winding. We don't need it right now. And then remove the shots. Without them the voltage will become crazy. But this isn't enough still, so I took these two transformers with removed parts and made them a unit. That's it, now we have enough power to go on. And I just need to add some low voltage secondary winding. I bought a thick wire for winding with 2mm cross section. And I've made a former to make the winding easier. If you want to make it even simpler, using a thin wire is made in bundles. You need to twirl these bundles and then wind them around the former. We've winded the wire 54 times. And we've made two twirl outs at the 4th and 47th rounds, so that we could change the current power for different welding processes. That's it! Now we have to connect this winding and we can try the welding machine. Here comes the first test of the handmade welding machine. Why it makes the sounds? Oh, it's okay. Turn it on. I barely disconnected them, ha, huh, it's stronger than we expected. To prevent it from buzzing we use some epoxy resin. Here is the machine we've got. It buzzes less, let's measure the voltage. It's 43 volts, but we can switch it to another winding and we will get another rated voltage. Let's measure the voltage right now. Let's see. What a sound! How many milliamperes are there? It was 230 amperes. Brilliant results. Let's check it working. Electrode come. Need a monocle, sir? Merci, monsieur. We need to peel this stuff, monsieur. A hundred and forty amperes was too much, though it is good that it isn't less than we need it. We can regulate the voltage using a ballast resistor. I took a piece of an old wire and connected it consequently to the system. Regulating the length of this wire we can find an optimal voltage balance. Yeah, it works! It's 90. And the resistor is getting hot. It's too much! Hmm, the temperature is optimal now. Is that... Uh, that's a welding seam? Uh, not really, I just was trying it. Wow, that's awesome! You did it good, such a nice seam! Just to compare, a friend gave me a usual welding machine. So I had to compare their working. You know, I feel like it works less stably. I didn't feel any difference in their working. The test of strength is completed. This kind of welding machine can assemble anyone, even an amateur. But if you doubt that you can do this, I will show you another welding machine DIY that anyone can make for 15 minutes for sure. Hello, support us on Patreon, please. Thank you.